And now, WBW Theater. Welcome to WBW Theater. Listen to a series of radio dramas, comedies, mysteries, thrillers, westerns, all dedicated to preserving the golden age of radio. Those thrilling days of yesteryear, way back when families gathered together around the living room radio to join the theater of the mind. Listen now, as we take you way back when imagination ruled and creativity had no limits. Listen now to... WBW Theater. My name is Jane, and I have a friend named Irma. Which means that it's time for your favorite comedy show, created by Cy Howard and starring Cheryl Carter Holdaway as Irma and Stephanie Iris Rose as Jane in My Friend Irma. Cookie, it's getting late. Will you turn out the light and go to bed? All right. Gee, it's so dark. What makes darkness? Oh, I don't know, honey. It's simple. Darkness is caused by the fact that all the light has gone out. Oh, I see. Then lightness is caused by the fact that all darkness has gone out. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Go to sleep, will you, honey? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, What are you doing? I'm counting fellows so I can fall asleep. You're supposed to count sheep. You go to sleep the way you want to. I'll go to sleep the way I want to. Okay, suit yourself. Jane? What is it, Irma? What side do you generally sleep on? Oh, I don't know. I guess I sleep on my back. I usually sleep on my right side. You see, my office is downtown. When I get up in the morning, I like to start off in the right direction. For Pete's sake, will you cut it out? By the way, did you leave a note for the milkman? No. Yeah, to tell him not to leave any more milk this week. He left four quarts the last time. I know. That was my fault. I asked him to. What for? Well, I was going to take a milk bath. It was supposed to be very good for the complexion, but when I read what milk does, I changed my mind. Well, what was it you read? That milk has calcium and builds strong bones. So? I don't want to have bony skin. Irma, will you put the note in the milk bottle out in the hall? Yes, Jane. Ah! Irma, what's the matter? Get out from under that bed. No, there's a ghost running through the hall. A ghost? What are you talking about? I tell you, I saw him, Jane. A real live dead ghost. Irma, will you stop imagining things? No, no, Janie, I saw it. A real ghost. Oh, Janie, I'm scared. What are we going to do? Well, personally, I never believed in ghosts. They've been scientifically proven to be non-existent. But then what are you doing here under the bed with me? So I'm not the scientific type. Irma, was, was, was this ghost, this particular ghost, wearing, wearing a long white sheet? Yeah, how did you know? Well... I might as well tell you. Come on, let's get out from under the bed. Okay. I saw the same ghost running down the hall last Tuesday. You did? Yeah, I thought I might be imagining things, so I didn't say anything. Oh, Jane, this is Tuesday. I know it is. You saw him last Tuesday? Yeah. Maybe he only haunts on Tuesdays, you know? A union ghost. Jane, what can we do if he comes in here? Well, uh... The closest thing is the dumbwaiter. We can get out through there. But it's down in the basement. Time comes, I'm not going to worry about the details. You know, this whole thing is ridiculous, Irma. I'm sure it's just our imagination, and I am positively not going to be frightened by any more of this. Jane, I wish you'd get under your own bed this time. Irma, I'm terrified. Someone is knocking on the door. Do you think it might be? I don't know. I'm going to find out. You there! Knocking on the door. Are you a ghost? No. But the way I live, I wish I was dead. Oh, it's the maestro. Irma, slip into your robe. Okay. Uh, Just a second, maestro. Hello, girls. Oh, gosh. Are we happy to see you. What are you doing up at this hour? Indigestion. Miss O'Reilly made dinner for me. But I thought you ate at home tonight. I did. This is from last week. Girls, I've never seen you so pale. What's that 
makeup on your face, eh? Cold cream? No, ghost cream. Ghost cream? Maestro, I know this must sound idiotic to you, but Irma and I have both seen a ghost running down the hall. You have? Yes. Make room for another idiot. You mean... Yeah. Yeah, I saw it two weeks ago on Tuesday night. What did you do? Well, being that I'm a man, there ain't only one thing I could do. I fainted. Well, what are we going to do about this? Well, why don't we call up the exterminating company and tell them to come here and spray? Irma. Personally, I can't see why any self-respecting ghost would want to haunt this place. Cemeteries are more livable. I I think we should tell Mrs. O'Reilly. Oh, Irma, we can't do that. But But that'll get rid of the ghost. How? Well, you know she doesn't allow people in here unless they sign a lease. Oh, that is the one thing we can't do. Tell her. I think we ought to wait, and then... There it is, the ghost again. Everybody be still. yo girls! Hey, if it's not a ghost, it's an old vampire bat. Oh! Now listen, not a word about this to Mrs. O'Reilly, because she may not believe us, and then she'll think we're just trying to defame her building, and she'll throw us out. Yeah, you got a point there, because, come to think of it, if the ghost was a man, she would have caught him a long time ago. Now remember now, no one tell her, and that means you, Irma. Oh, you can count on me, Jane. I know how to play dumb. Uh, come in, Mrs. O'Reilly. Hello, girls. Is everything all right? I heard a commotion up here. Oh, everything's fine, Mrs. O'Reilly. I... I'm sure you couldn't find a ghost around here for miles. Oh, swell. Ghosts? Uh, I, uh, you should excuse Irma, Miss O'Reilly. Uh, seeing you with your hair and curlers, your face without makeup, she thought maybe you were getting ready to haunt the house. Oh, glory be. Oh, he's forgot all about me appearance. Oh, I must look a mess. Well, I wouldn't say a mess, but, uh, give me time. I'll think of the word, uh, yeah, I know, disaster. Oh, you thank you to keep your insults to yourself, girls. Why you look so pale? Uh, I, uh, uh, we saw a mouse. Yeah, about six feet tall, wearing a white sheet. You girls don't make sense. And, maestro, what are you doing here at this hour? Uh, me? Well, I, uh, I've, uh, sh- walk in my sleep. How come? If you had the mattress I had, you'd be doing a lot of walking, too. Really, Mrs. O'Reilly, there's nothing wrong. And what Irma said about ghosts is ridiculous, isn't it, Irma? I'm not spooking until I'm spooking to. Irma, go on, Mrs. O'Reilly. Go back to bed. You need your beauty sleep. Offhand, like 60 years. Now, just for that, why insist you walk me down to me door? <laughs> you know, I'm afraid of the dark. Someone might try to carry me off. Not if he's carrying a flashlight. You see, she didn't find out anything from me. You did everything but draw her a road map. Now come on, get in bed, and let's forget this whole thing. All right. I'll turn out the light. (sighs) Good night, Cookie. Good night, Jane. Jane? Yes? What does a ghost really look like? I don't know, honey. The ones I've seen pictures of are all bones. Maybe we ought to get a dog. Irma, will you please go to sleep? All right. Good night, Jane. Jane, do you hear that? Yes. Irma, I'm really terrified. It can't be Mrs. O'Reilly. It can't be the maestro. And we're in bed. Gee, it must be some unearthly creature. I'll find out. Who's at the door? Chicken, it's me, Al. You're right, Irma. It's some unearthly creature. But let him in. Well, all right. Just a second, Al. I'm putting my robe on. Hiya, chicken. Oh, Al, you don't know how glad we are to see you. I saw the light on in your window and it was just on my way home from work. I thought the pool room closed at nine. But sit down, Al. Sit down and make yourself at home. I really like you, Al. You do? (laughs) Most of the times you imply that I'm obnoxious. Well, that's only during the week. On Tuesdays, you're lovely. Oh, Al, you're a brave man, aren't you? Well, you know my war record, chicken. I have the biggest victory garden on the block. What we're trying to say is nothing terrifies you, does it? Uh, nothing in the world. Why? Having trouble? Yes, Al. Well, then I'm your man. Now, uh, just who is this guy that's been causing the trouble? Well, he isn't exactly a man. Uh, it's... it's hard to describe. Well, who is he? Or is it a she? 
Oh, I don't think so. A kid? Well... Go on, tell me. I don't care if it's a dame or a kid. I ain't afraid of either of them. See, I told you, he's as brave as they come. Oh, come on, chicken. Tell me, how much does this bum weigh? Practically nothing. I'll murder him. Oh, Al, you're wonderful. Come on, Jane, we can sleep in peace. When that ghost comes back, my Al will take care of him. <coughs> Won't you, Al? Al? Your hero just went. Huh? Yeah, he was as brave as they come, and as they come, he went. Come on, Irma, we've got to pull ourselves together. If we don't get some sleep, we won't be able to get up for work. Come on, honey. All right, Jane. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Jane, I'll only be a minute. Irma? Irma, get back in bed. I'm scared. Irma? There. Now that ghost won't dare come near us. Why? What did you do? I just put a sign on the door. Measles. Miss Peterson? Miss Peterson? Miss Peterson. Yes, Mr. Clyde. Will you please stop yawning? It frightens me. Why? Well, your mouth is open, and I'm afraid you're going to talk. Take this letter, please. All right, Mr. Clyde. I'm ready, and I'm wide awake. Good. Good. To Mr. John Schwartz, President, Snag Proof Zipper Company, New York City, New York. Got it. Got it? You idiot! You can't write with a nail file. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. What's the matter with you, Miss Peterson? Mr. Clyde, have you ever had a sleepless night? Yes. Right after the morning I hired you. No, seriously. Jane and I were up all last night. I saw a ghost. A ghost? Yes. I think the apartment we live in is haunted. Well, my dear girl, you have no problem. If you want to get rid of that ghost, it's simple. How? Talk to him for a while. He'll leave. I know, many times after talking to you, I've wanted to leave this earth. Oh no, Mr. Clyde, this is serious. I'm not getting any sleep and I just don't have any vitality. In other words, when I get here, I'm not all there. You can be anywhere and you're not all there. Of all the silly preposterous stories, seeing a ghost... Well, I did. I saw him Tuesday night and Jane saw him last Tuesday night. Hey, and... The maestro saw him the Tuesday night before that. Miss Peterson, there is no such thing as a ghost. It's just an apparition. Oh, that's ridiculous. Not one of us ever had surgery. Furthermore, I think... <sighs> How do you like that? She's fallen asleep. Huh? Miss Peterson. Miss Peterson, look. I don't want to be a hard-hearted boss, Miss Peterson, but, uh... Are you sure you saw a ghost? Positively. He was running down the hall. Fast? Real fast. Well, he sounds peppier than you. You go home and send him here to work. You're not going to help me, Mr. Clyde? Help you? I want to tell you something, Miss Peterson. I'm running a law office. And if you do not come to work with all your faculties, as limited as they are, I'm going to replace you, because right now, you're non compost mentis, incoherent, lackadaisical, and completely dispensable. I am? Positively. Mr. Clyde, would you please put that in writing? Why? I might want a reference for my next boss. Get out of here! That you, sweetie? Hello, Jane. What's the matter, Cookie? Trouble in the office? Gee, we've got to do something. Mr. Clyde said that if I don't get enough sleep at home, he's going to fire me. But he gave me a very nice reference. He did? Yes, he said I was non compos mentis. And if I remember my French, that means right on the ball. Oh, honey, I've got a headache. Take it easy, will ya? Were you sleepy at the office? Sleepy? I drank so much black coffee that I've developed a Brazilian accent. You know, this is dreadful, Irma. Let's get to bed early and get a good night's sleep. All right, Jane. What are you doing? Well, I'm hanging the sheet over the clothes tree. If a ghost comes, he'll see we've already been haunted. Miss Peterson, this is Thursday and you're still asleep at your desk. Don't tell me you saw the ghost last night. No, but we were awake all night waiting for him to show up. Hmm. (gasps) 
Miss Peterson, this is Friday, the third morning I found you sleeping on the job. Oh, Mr. Clyde, I'm so dopey. That is the understatement of the year. Miss Peterson, this is Tuesday morning. Oh, tonight is the night. Oh, Mr. Clyde, what shall I do if I see him running down the hall again? Just take him by the hand and ask him to lead you to the unemployment office. You're fired. <laughs> Jane! That you, Cookie? Irma, what's wrong? I've been fired. Oh, that's terrible. How are we going to get along? What do you mean? I've been fired, too. Rather, I told Richard I just couldn't go on taking a salary and coming to work every morning half asleep. Irma, do you know that the time has come for action? We'll just have to tell Mrs. O'Reilly the truth and move. When we get back to normal, I'm sure we can get our jobs back. Come in. Hey, it's me. Me again, Maestro Wunderkind. Well, girls, it's Tuesday night again. I, uh, I thought maybe you'd like to go out for a little walk. Walk? Where to? Boston. We can come back tomorrow. No, no, Maestro, no. We we have decided to face the issue. We're going to tell Mrs. O'Reilly we think the place is haunted and we're moving. Oh, no, girls. You can't move. It will break my heart. Well, we can't sleep. Can you? Well, yeah, but only because I keep telling myself the ghost is much better off than I am. What do you mean? When I saw him, he was wearing a clean white sheet. I should only get such service. Well, we've had all we can take, and I'm calling Mrs. O'Reilly. Mrs. O'Reilly, will you please come up here? Who's doing all that yelling? Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Mrs. Martin. Did I wake the baby? No, but please be quiet. I'll be right up, Janie. Please? Now, Irma, I'll do the talking. Okay. What has my life come to that the girls are going to leave? And yet, how can I stop you? I saw the ghost with my own eyes. If I could only figure out who it was that was coming back to haunt me, it couldn't be my school teacher. The day I graduated, she said she never wanted to see me again. Irma. Yo-hoo! It's me, Mrs. O'Reilly. Come in. Hello, girls. Maestro? Good evening. What's the trouble, Janie, darling? Uh, well, uh, Mrs. O'Reilly, I don't know how to begin this, but... Uh, Mrs. O'Reilly, we want the truth. Have you rented out one of your apartments to a person who is not living? What? No. They're all living. A couple of them are deadbeats, but they're still alive. Look, wh what we're trying to say, Mrs. O'Reilly, is that... Well, I, I mean, I know that this sounds unbelievable, but every Tuesday night, a ghost in a white sheet has been roaming the halls. Glory be, are you sure? You can ask the maestro. He's seen him, too. That's right. That's right, Mrs. O'Reilly. Probably somebody who died over a thousand years ago. He keeps coming back to find out what keeps you going. Oh, shut up! Oh, I hate to say this, Mrs. O'Reilly, but Irma and I haven't slept a wink since it happened. We're going to have to find another place to live. A ghost in my building? Ah, oh, glory be. I believe I know who it is. You do? Yes. It must be my late husband, Clancy. The poor man probably misses me. I thought that's why he went away in the first place, to get away from you. Bite your tongue! My poor dear Clancy worshipped me. He practically threw himself at me feet. Uh-huh. This could only be because he wanted to escape and he thought they were boats. Now listen here, you. Now please, this is no time to argue. You'll have to do something about this. I'm convinced it's Clancy and there's only one way to handle the situation. How? If I could get through to him, you know, hold a seance and explain to him that he's frightening the tenants. Sea ants? I've heard of... Red ants and picnic ants, but sea ants. Do they swim? Irma. Now, Janie, put out the lights. We can all sit around the table holding hands so we can make contact with the spirits. Mrs. O'Reilly, let's have no drinking at this hour. Cookie. Mrs. O'Reilly, don't you think this is just a little ridiculous? Janie, I know what I'm doing. Turn out the lights. All right. Fine. 
Now that we're in complete darkness, everybody hold hands. All right, but I warn you, if you're using this as an excuse to get fresh, I'll leave. You stay. Now, everyone concentrate. I'll try to make contact with Clancy. Oh, Clancy! Oh, Clancy, without there! Yoo-hoo! Clancy, this is Kathleen. Remember me? Will you not be coming in a little stronger? Hey, try channel two. Be still! Clancy! Oh, cousin! This is your little Cupid doll. Who now looks like a baseball's been thrown at her. Maestro. Okay, Clancy! Come to us, Clancy! Isn't he polite? He's knocking before he comes in. Come in, Clancy! Hiya, folks! Hey, why are you all sitting around the table? There ain't no food on it. Well, Mrs. O'Reilly's been holding a siesta. Seance. Seance? What for? I'm trying to get through to my late husband, Clancy, so he'll stop haunting the building. Now just sit down and hold hands with the person next to you. Put out the lights, please. Okay. Now concentrate, everyone. Clancy! Clancy! I'm calling you out there in the spirit world. I... I think I'm getting something. Oh, oh, I see a small light in the distance. It's the one in the refrigerator. Al, will you please sit down? Okay. Go on. See if you can dial him in. Clancy! If you love me, please answer. Oh, 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 oh. He answered. Sounds like he's running away. Yeah, he must have seen you. Somebody, quick, quick, go to the door and see if he's there. No, no, not, not me. me. No, I'm not doing it. No way. I ain't doing it. Hey, I'll go. Hey, I bet it worked. You bet what worked? I, I put carpet tacks in the hall. Carpet tacks? Wait a minute. I'll be back. Well, where's she going? Gee, I don't know. Miss O'Reilly, the seance is over. You can let go of my hand. What's the hurry? I want to talk to a few more ghosts, I know. Well, Jane, what's the news? Did you see the ghost? Yeah, I saw him. Jane. <laughs> Jane, what are you laughing at? Mrs. Martin has him by the ears. The ghost? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, will you please explain? Every Tuesday night, Mr. Martin has a poker game. And so he can't sneak out to meet the boys, Mrs. Martin hides his clothes. So he runs down the hall in his sheets. Good night, Irma. <laughs> Good night, Jane. My Friend Irma is a Cy Howard production. Clark Levy writes the script with Stanley Adams and Roland McQuaid. Our production was directed by Dennis Moore. Cheryl Carter Holdaway starred as Irma and Stephanie Iris Rose as Jane. Maestro was played by Antonio Lexero. Mrs. O'Reilly by Kathy Tidwell. Al by Nick Matthews. Clyde by Stephen Haar. And Mrs. Martin by Cheryl Bunnell. Sound effects by Scott Pearson. The technical director was Dennis Moore and I'm your announcer, Sherry Brummer. Join us again as we bring you exciting thrills and adventure, rip-roaring comedy, and shoot 'em up westerns and gangbusters. Next time, when your imaginations will be invited into the theater of the mind that is WBW Theater.